Okay, this is a video response to VQEZ89. He had a question between the MCA2 global needle uh, compass and the Kamenga um, military lensetic compass. So two very different compasses. Um, so I would say it depends on what you're more familiar with. So if you're more familiar with this, of using this style of navigation, um, of dead reckoning um, versus essentially train association and in your navigation style, um, then, you know, go with something like this. If this is kind of, if you have a background, say military, uh, or where you're learning navigation or the people you're with are going to be using this compass, the style compass, then go with this. Um, Otherwise, I would go with the MCA. The, this is what's called a base plate or an orienteering compass. Um, and the main feature or the kind of component to this, which makes it what it is, is that because it has this clear body, when you can use this as a protractor on your map. Um, if you're using this style of compass and you're going to do some work, map work out of the field, you really do need to have a separate protractor. This is a UTM grid overlay um, that use that can use this to plot, um, you know, GPS UTM coordinates and such. Um, but if I'm offline, I'm sorry. If I'm out of the field, then I'm definitely going to need something like this. Uh, this style of compass doesn't do a whole lot. Bomber construction. It's got. Tridian luminescence in there, so I don't know what the half-life of that, maybe 25, 30 years, so it's going to glow forever. Um, lots of functionality and accuracy with this, this compass, um, but I think with the global needle, um, you're going to find um, a higher, a better quality compass. This, you, the lensetic compasses, you technically can't get, uh, I guess it's, it is a global needle, but this style is the model... Um, if you need the global needle, needle for international travel, if you're traveling to South America, um, Australia, anywhere but in the Southern Hemisphere, you're going to want the Model 3H SH, and that's going to give you uh, a compass that's balanced for the Southern Hemisphere. Um, why you'd want a global needle in North America is that it is just quicker to use. So... Um, if you got the global needle, Because if you're especially in a forested area, there's only so far that you're going to see. So you see a lot of times people have a, a large base plate compass like this. Oftentimes there's a mirror or a, um, a magnifying glass right at this part where these scales would be. Um, and I would say that would be an ideal compass. I had a compass like that. I gave it away. But uh, this is the, the compass I, I generally use uh, for more in-depth use. It has an inclometer, which is handy for measuring heights. Uh, and slope out in the mountains. 
but it also has a uh, um, adjustable declination, which is also just, again, one step faster in navigating. So when you get the global needle and the declination on there, it's just a lot quicker and easier to use, faster to use. Um, and you're not going to be able to get any of those features with a, st a compass like this. Um, but if everyone in your group is using this tie on a compass, um, then go for it. Um, you know, solid construction, last forever, great compass, nothing wrong with it. But if you've, and if you've got the background on the military use, um, or the training, then, then, you know, if that's what you're comfortable with, go for it. Um, but something like this is going to be all around a little bit more handy, but it's going to be prone to, well, you can see there's like a bubble in here. Um, it's prone to cracking, damage, bubbles. Um, so, you know, you buy this and you'll never have to buy another compass again for the rest of your life. <laughs> you buy this, um, uh, and, and you'll probably have to replace it, um, at some point. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any other questions um, or comments, please let me know. Um, and I could go on longer about compass, uh, styles of compasses and, um, and that, and maybe I will do another video on, on, the, on choosing a compass. So uh, hopefully that was helpful.